Hi, welcome to Hot Chocolate Hits. I'm Medica and today I'm going to show you how to make a red bell pepper soup. My mom uh, bought a lot of red bell peppers and she chopped them up and we don't know what to do with them. And so the soup is really quick and really easy to make and it's fall and it's getting kind of cold. So it's a perfect fall dish as well. So let's get started. So I have your four chopped red bell, bell peppers. It isn't necessary that they be too fine because you're gonna puree the soup anyway. Also chop one medium onion and four garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna peel those garlic cloves and crush them with my garlic press. You can also grate them. So next I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of butter. I'm using salted butter, of course. You can use unsalted. I just feel like salted butter has a really nice flavor in savory dishes. And just put that into a saucepan to melt. I love seeing the solid turn into liquid. It's absolutely gorgeous. When it's nice and bubbly, add in a tablespoon of olive oil and heat that up a little bit as well. Don't burn the butter. And then add in your onions. And just saute them for a minute until they're like translucent and they're kind of softer. Next, dump in your red bell peppers. And add in your garlic as well and just cook all of those ingredients together until the bell peppers are nice and soft so about like five to ten minutes at that stage you can add in three around three cups of hot water that's 700 milliliters and add in two stock cubes I'm using two but again it depends on like the quality of your stock cubes and just break those apart with your wooden spoon stir them around a bit and then just cover the pan and simmer the soup for 30 minutes on low heat. After around 30 minutes, turn off the heat. And now you can puree the soup. You can do this in a food processor or using an immersion blender. If you do it in a food processor, remember the soup has to be cold and just until nice and smooth, like so. And at this stage, you can add in your seasoning. Don't add too much salt because the stock cubes are fairly salty. Um, what I'm doing is I'm adding Tabasco, I feel like that has a nice peppery spicy flavor. And I'm also adding in some pepper because you can't really have soup without pepper, I feel. So feel free to add in some fresh herbs and some more Tabasco if you like things hot. And stir those in and then pour the soup onto a plate. As you can see my edges are messy, so I went and I cleaned it with a paper towel. If you were listening closely, I was whistling the theme song for Food Wishes in the background because I was trying to act like Chef John. Anyway, just garnish the soup with some fresh cream and some oregano or other herbs and you're done. It's light, it's creamy, even though there's no addition of cream, and it's full of flavor. It's funny how much flavor like only five ingredients can give to this incredible soup. It tastes kind of uh, in the middle of like a carrot and a pumpkin soup. I highly recommend it for winter or for fall. It's so delicious, so I really hope you give it a try. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.